Good evening, my name is Ellie Carlson. It is currently six o'clock, October 15th, 2020. Today I will be interviewing myself, and on this podcast I will be discussing the short story, A Worn Path. The author is Eudora Welty. The setting takes place on the Natchez Trace in Mississippi. It begins on a wooded trail in southwestern Mississippi on the Natchez Trace and later moves to the town of Natchez. The story takes place in the winter of 1940, which was also the Great Depression era. The trail that the story is mainly based around in ancient times was used as a major road for people in business, war, exploration, slave trade, for mail, and also for the westward expansion. The characters in the short story. The main character is Phoenix Jackson. You also have Phoenix's grandson, a young hunter, a woman that helps Phoenix tie her shoes on her travels, and the staff at the medical center clinic. The plot of the short story. A worn path is told in the third person point of view in which a worn path follows an elderly African-American woman named Phoenix Jackson as she ventures toward a town. The story is set in Natchez, Mississippi during the Great Depression era. As Phoenix journeys along the Natchez Trace, she periodically encounters many obstacles, including including thorny bushes, barbed wire, and a large dog, among others. She meets a hunter pocketing a nickel that he drops and a lady who ties her shoes. The story concludes with Phoenix arriving at the town and having completed the journey yet again. Her motivation for having done so is also revealed as she laments how her grandson swallowed lye, damaging his throat from the reaction. She tells the nurse supplying the medicine that the damage to his throat never fully heals and every so often his throat will begin to swell shut. It is old Phoenix's love for her grandson that causes her to face the trial of the journey to town every time is necessary with no questions asked. The protagonist is, of course, Phoenix Jackson. She is an elderly woman who, out of love, goes to town on a very difficult journey to get medicine for her ill grandson. So she is the protagonist. Now, when it said um, who was the antagonist, this kind of stumbled me because I I didn't really know, you know, who was really against her. And then it dawned on me that the setting is the antagonist. Um, In the story, you know, she, Phoenix takes a journey and throughout this journey, she comes across many obstacles like a log bridge, the hill, the big black dog that knocks her over. She goes through a lot on this journey and it's also very cold it's through the great depression and she she's very old so the setting really goes against her and pushes her even more so that the setting is the antagonist the conflict so man versus man the challenge phoenix faces having to take care of her grandson who is ill by herself phoenix is very old so usually elders the younger ones are taking care of the elders and not the other way around. So this is definitely man versus man. That causes a lot of conflict for Phoenix. Man versus self. um, This is shown through her age and for frail, like how fragile she is. I can't say that. Um, But man versus self, she's very old and that also has a big effect on her travel. And then man versus animal, there is a large black dog that knocks her over in the story. So that is some conflict that she faces. Man versus nature, um, like I said, the setting was the antagonist. The the hill she had to climb, the thorny bush that catches her dress, getting through the corn maze without a path. This journey would have been difficult for any anyone in particular, but because she's older and very fragile and you know, it's cold and it's through a really bad time in the world. It made it even more difficult for Phoenix Jackson. The theme. So there were several themes that I discovered. One was definitely struggle. She, Phoenix struggled a lot through the journey. Sacrifice. She sacrificed a lot also. Um, you know, she sacrificed her body going, you know, the dog could have easily bit her and she could have got rabies. You just never know. And, you know, um, since it was cold and the Great Depression, she could have gotten very ill just from that. And um, determination. Phoenix had a lot of determination. She never gave up. She um, Perseverance is also another theme. She always persevered through the journey. She um, She never gave up. And I think that 
was really like it really stood out to me because she's such an older woman and very fragile and the fact that she never gave up really speaks volumes for her and another theme was selflessness and it shows how selfless she is because um you know she she did a lot for her grandson and another theme was love and everything she did was out of love for her grandson so she was a really great woman and I really enjoyed the story and I hope y'all enjoyed my podcast. Thank you so much for watching.